People deluded, I'm back again. Now over the weekend, you know, a lot of our young players played in action, you know, they're on loan at other clubs as they try and advance themselves and make progress in their careers. One thing being talented at Arsenal, we all know with the dynamics, it's t difficult for young players to get first team opportunities. So a lot of them have gone on loan. I always say minutes are currency. I don't believe going on loan for the sake of loan spells is the benefit. I feel every player is different. I feel some benefit from staying at the club, some benefit from going away. And I feel, you know, it's not just a case of going on loan. It's got to be the right club. You know, the philosophy of the manager, the formation, the club ethos, all of these things have to be considered. Um, and even with that, nothing to guarantee if they're going to be a success or failure. Arsenal have had success stories, but not too many players of recent have, you know, maybe Jack Wilshere at Bolton and there might be a couple of us that cover a couple of other examples. I know Maitland Niles went Ipswich when he was 17, but there's not been too many times where it's been like a Spurs with Carl Walker thing where he's gone to a villa or he's gone to a championship club and, you know, the next season they've come and cemented it. It hasn't really been a thing like that. I know Eddie went to Leeds. It didn't work out for him and he's in the first team. But what I mean is by going on loan, really excelling on loan, like really excelling on loan, not showing promises and stuff, really excelling. Um, we haven't really seen that. I know Emil's done well. I know Tyrese has done well at Lincoln. I know Nelson's done well at Hoffenheim. But it's not been a mad thing, if you get what I'm saying. But it doesn't matter. Now, in relation to Tyrese John Jules, you lot know me, I'm always going to be excited for this lad. Tyrese John Jules FC were off the mark for this season. He's got his first goal for his new club, Doncaster, in his second game, I believe. Um, you know, they won 3-1. His goals are madness. Like, me talking about the goal isn't going to do Tyrese or, or Doncaster any justice, you know. He... You know, even before we let, let's forget about the goal. You know, I think he took a while to wake up. I think the team took about 20 minutes to wake up. But um, when he got going, you know, first thing I got to speak about in this league, you've got to have work rate from start to finish. Tyrese is chasing lost causes. He's been a nuisance. He's been a fraud in the centre half side. Side, sorry, he's working the last, the last man and being on the shoulder. Equally, he has no problem standing with his back to go and backing into you. You know, Tyrese, he's got the physical attributes, but he's an Arsenal player. He's got the technicals to match. So he linked, I felt he linked up well with his teammates. I think he showed himself, put himself around enough to offer for the ball. I think from start to finish, what impressed me is he's never, he, kept, he never stopped running. He's closing man down. His, his goal is the icing on top of the cake. You know, it's a Tyrese John Jules finish. You know, he doesn't, he does basic finishes, but he doesn't do basic finishes. You know, you've got, you've got um, the first touch and whatnot in, uh, when he played them. Um, when he played for Fingy, when he played in pre-season for Arsenal's first team. you got last season where he's against Leicester, I believe, at the Emirates, where he's done some back -heel thing. And this goal was a madness, people. He stands up the ball, he nutmegs his man, and he smashes it. It's, it's, it's cheeky, you know. If it was me that that happened to, you know, I don't want to watch I don't want to watch EFL Cup um, highlight show and whatnot and see that goal I've conceded. He embarrassed them, and it's a Tyrese John Jules goal. And this is what I'm talking about at Doncaster, because at Lincoln, you know, I feel Tyrese showcased himself. I think he done well. But I think because of the way Lincoln play, he didn't get to show his technical level. I feel with Doncaster, yeah, there's going to be times in this division, you know, he's six foot something, he is quite strong, he's going to have to use them tools. But I think in this Doncaster team, he's going to get to showcase his ability. And I think he linked up well with, with his teammates as well. And he had a fantastic performance. And I hope this goal just spurs him on to do more like for me I see no reason why if he's not if he's at Doncaster for the full season why he can't bag 20 in the league he's good enough you know he bullied them defenders against Doncaster then for Doncaster sorry Doncaster won 3-1 you know it was 3-0 at a point and then they conceded but you know I'm sure they'll take that and with with this victory you know Tyrese John Jules and his teammates they move up to fourth in the division I believe and I think Tyrese is going to have a great season at Doncaster because it's well known that Tyrese for a number of years has had a lot of interest in him permanently and alone I won't expand anymore um, and it's, it's common knowledge that when it became available that he could go out on loan teams were interested in him and you know Darren Moore had to fight for him and when you've got a manager speaking of you like this you're going to have a good season he said there was some fierce competition for him he was someone I've spoken about before about working with with their clubs and being really persistent with it He'll be a fantastic acquisition for the squad in terms of the sort of player he is, what we are, the type of attacking player he is and the team dynamics. I think it's a wonderful fit. He's someone I kept an eye on all last season and where he's been at. He's had the pick of many clubs at this level. They've looked at us and he's looked at us and they've seen it as a wonderful fit. 
We're grateful to Arsenal for allowing us to have him. We'll work extremely hard to improve him further and hopefully hand him back to Arsenal a better player. And that's what you want to see. For me, it's about confidence. I don't think Tyrese John Jules is lacking in confidence. I don't think he's one of these soft confidence players. But naturally, you know, any walk of life, if you're... I'm Not that he, he's at the start of his career. If you compare it like a 9-5, to five, you know, if you go into a 9-5 to five office environment, you know, you're, you're thrown in at the deep end and you thrive with whatever tasks you, you're given or tasks you haven't necessarily done before, been experienced, and you've come through it in a good patch or and whatnot, you're going to believe in your abilities. It's going to give you a bit more of a grounding to go and tackle the bigger tasks, the bigger tasks being Arsenal, you know. This is his second loan spell. Granted, this is his first, you know sort of insteps as a real footballer, as a professional footballer. He goes to Doncaster, he scores goals, he you know, he gets experience at this level. That's gonna give you confidence playing in the man's game. You know, you're more confident, you're more you've got more experience, you have more of an opportunity. And that's what you want to see. You want to see him at B or Nendo is a striker, he's got to score goals. You sometimes you've got to look beyond the goal. So for me I want to see Tyree score a respectable amount of goals. I don't see why he can't do that. Um I you know he's got the link up play. I want to see him do that. Just be an important player for the team. And then we assess his situation. Obviously, he wouldn't go out on loan if he didn't want to return a better player. So I can't add on to anything Darren Moore said. Um, like he went on to say, he's a good finisher, he's got an eye for goal, and he's wonderful at linking the plate. He's someone who can stretch defenders. I think we've signed a good young player with potentially a bright future ahead of him. It's a credit to the club that he sees this as the place to come to play on the front line. It's the right time for him and hopefully he'll get a consistent level of games where he can show that consistency. He's had a glimpse of life up north and the level of League One and that's obviously referring to him at Lincoln. And you know, it's down to Tyrese. If he wants to play, he needs to keep doing performances like this. There will be, he's not going to score every game. There will be periods where, you know, his, his luck isn't quite happening. It's equally, there'll be purple patches. This is the day in life of a striker. This is the day in life of a young striker you know, trying to gain consistency at, at the at men's level. And I back Tyree John Jules all the way, man. And like I said, he's dead. that's number one for the season. I see no reason as to why he can't back more people. Away from that, and, you know, one of Tyrese's John Jules, one of, one of his good friends, Trey Coyle, he's having a good time at Gillingham. They defeated Wigan three goals to two. Another game, another... Um, Trey Coyle finish again like Tyrese's goal I don't want to downplay it so please watch the Gillingham highlights but it's a typical Trey Coyle goal and for him you know he's having a bit of a bright time you know he's bagged against who did he bag against he's bagged before I think I have it written down I can't remember off the top of my head people he bagged against Crawley you know this last week he had the week to remember you know he scored at the weekend against Wigan Gillingham haven't beat them in a while and obviously midweek he scored the winning penalty in the EFL trophy so he's had quite the week you know, it's, I wouldn't say it's been up and down for Coyle, but I'd say this is why it was beneficial to go out on loan because he's even been hooked at half time previously for Gillingham. I don't know if that was injury, tactically, or just not. The manager didn't think he was doing his job. That's going to help you grow as a person. Obviously, like Tyrese, the more he's an attacking player, the more games you play, the more goals and assists, and just if you can't do that affecting the game, the more confidence that you're going to have. You know, I know like Ty Tyrese. Coyle's a talented young player, but to a degree, Steve Evans, I believe his name is, at Gillingham, apologies for scratching my nose, people, at Gillingham, he shouldn't care, you know, he sees it as you come out of Arsenal's academy, you're an attacking player that can play in a bunch of roles, I need you to provide the difference, if you're not scoring, are you assisting, and so far, Coyle's did that, that's why he deserves to start, you know, it's a testing period, it's going to be a beneficial period, because there's going to be times he might struggle for consistency and be out the team, but this is what these lot have got to learn, to keep your performance levels, you know, Medley didn't play in this game, he was on the bench, I think this is his second game on the bench, you remember in his last game, his manager was quite critical of him failing to mark his man from a headed piece head headed situation a set piece a header um, you know first team level if you do that under 23s bold might shout at you after the game but you're going to play next week you know and this is what not just medley or coil or tyrese this is the reality of football you know you're not special in a sense of nobody they, when you leave arsenal they don't care that you're arsenal young players and all these things you're a centre half, you're a striker, you're a winger. Are you doing your job? Are you doing your job better than the man in the team? Because nobody wants to give you your shirt. The same way Coyle and, and Tyrese are playing, they don't want to give up their shirt. They know there's a target on their back. You don't think Tyrese knows there's other men. And after, I forgot to mention in relation to Tyrese, Doncaster have to rate it because they've got him, they've got Tulloch from West Brom on loan, and I think they've got Tyler Richards from formerly of Fulham and City now Brighton on loan. But back to Coyle, you know, there were periods of pressure in that game for Gillingham, like you would expect from 3-2, but it was a good win and they moved forward and 
I'm happy Coyle bagged again, you know, that's what you want to see. You want to see him have a good positive loan spell and see what he can do beyond that, people. Away from that, though, um, while, 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 sorry, what's wrong with my speech this early in the morning? While Coyle and Tyrese won, Matt Smith sadly lost 2-0 to Blackpool. Not that it's a team game, you know, it's irrelevant to a degree that Matt Smith played well because the team lost, you know, but at the same time, from Arsenal's perspective, we don't necessarily care about Swindon. Um, from the highlights, it looked like Matt Smith had a good game. From the things you read, it looks like he has a good game. I didn't watch 90 minutes to verify, but, you know, he's apparently his passing was spot on, his tackling was there, the tenacity was there, the engine was there, again only going off highlights and what I can read and things but you know it seems like he's putting a convincing performance and like the like the other lot this is what they've got to do I want, I want everyone to make it at Arsenal I want everyone to get a fair shot, shot but if it doesn't happen put yourself in the shop window that other clubs can say oh we'll take him we'll give him a chance and then you can start advancing your career as a senior professional because once you've been exposed you know I know Oli Inc has been out on loan and he's back with the under 23s I'm sure he wants to go out alone. You don't want to play under 23 football. You can't go from playing for senior football and I know the fans aren't technically back, but the fans and the fact that it means something to win, like you can't, like winning, losing and drawing don't have the same meaning it does at 23's level. You can't go back to 23's level. Psychologically, it's difficult to take and you know you're just here for the sake of it. So it's about putting yourself in the shop window and I don't know for Matt Smith if he's going to get an opportunity. He's been on the bench, so Arteta knows about him, but there's a lot of midfielders around him. There's some younger than him that are potentially more highly rated, not that that matters. Obviously, we're likely to bring in a centre-half or two, centre-mid or two, and that position seems to be overstocked at most clubs, much less Arsenal. So this is why it's important at 19, 20 years of age, however old he is, to put yourself in the shop window if it doesn't happen. Um, Ose Tutu, again, it was a highlights job for me. Um, I'm trying to see if I can watch it, but it looks like he had a convincing performance in the extended highlights um, for Cardiff against Nottingham Forest. They won 2 0. Former Guna Jenkinson was playing. It looked like Ose Tutu went forward and put in some crosses when he could. It looked like there was a minimal threat down his side of any crosses and, and, and all of them things down his side. So he locked it down for Cardiff. And again, it's about putting yourself in the shop window. There's question marks over the right backs. You know, time will tell. Cedric Suarez is the man. Bellerin's linked with a move and then he's not. Maitland Niles is playing that left back and right back and linked with moves. So again, the landscape could change come the summer. He's someone a lot of people have said for a while, why has he not been given an opportunity? And truly, I don't know. But again, he's got to put himself in the shop window. He had a, a, a decent loan spell in Germany, playing right wing. He's now playing right back in Cardiff. He's closer to everyone, you know, more Arsenal fans. And I guess, not that it matters, the coaching staff probably watched him as much in Germany, but he's easier to get scouts to and get proper reports on. Put yourself in the window of Arteta. Can we fix an can we fix an area that isn't that 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 um that we don't need to buy someone? Can you go and present Arteta with a headache sort of thing? Can you put yourself in the shop window to convince Cardiff or maybe a Premier League team or another Championship team to to go for you permanently? You know, all of the players out on loan need to put themselves in the shop window, whether that's um, to stay at Arsenal or elsewhere. Because some of them, I can't lie, I can't see a future here for them. But it is what it is. In relation to Zach Swanson and players like that, again, I haven't done my research on that. It's very difficult to stay up to stay up with what's happening in Holland, but it is what it is in that regards, people. Um, yeah, man, that's all I wanted to say. So, congrats to Trey, to Tyrese, you know, Osei Tutu and Matt Smith also put in convincing performances. It's been a good week for our young players, really. On that note, people, DG.